have a uh, a DeWalt DW 735X 13 inch planer coming. It's my first big power tool purchase. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. So. So these are all the pieces. Be nice to, you can see like a nice before. That's gonna be our seat. These are gonna be our legs. Yeah, it's like taking this plan, getting the rough dimensions for it, and then adjusting it from like a three-legged stool to like a four-legged stool. <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing like your first stool. I mean, I started like, I wanted to be a writer, I like fiction a lot, and then it felt like filmmaking could be like, I could have the writing, I could have the photography, I could have, I could just kind of like do it all at once. No, I'm very, I'm very lucky to have something that I can learn and kind of make a living. But you spend all this time like making a film, and then a lot of people like debate about like what it means what your intentions were, what they should take away from it. I wish there was less debate in, in art about like what, what the function of a particular thing is. I mean, chairs, like, you know, the use value is not really all that debated. It's pretty easy to like kind of sit here and pontificate, you know, from this where I'm at. But right now it's really nice to like make something and sit in it. <laughs> My YouTube history is probably my truest autobiography. I feel like I'm kind of deterministically fulfilling this personality vector of like entering into bowling, bowling into like carpentry, carpentry into woodworking, woodworking into amateur radio, amateur radio into libertarian end of the world preparations. <laughs> So I taper it down to the feet are one and eighth inch. I get really, ex I'm a very enthusiastic person. I was always like, I just get excited about stuff and then can't stop talking about it. I guess my whole life I have really, really loved getting like just totally lost in projects like that. Any one point is infinitely deep. I'm trying to be less picky about the points. All right, that's day one. That look, I mean, it looks pretty, it looks like a stool. <laughs> I was gonna say, I've been up since 6.30, watching four dust extraction videos, two round belly smoke shave sharpening videos, two why you need to ditch the mainstream media and start listening to shortwave radio videos. And a couple bowling highlight reels. Might actually need your help from the other side. <laughs> so the bowling alley is right straight ahead. <sighs> Why I'm bullish on crypto? Before we begin, I'd be sure you hit the like button and the subscribe over my shoulder. And if you want to see my previous videos on NFTs, uh, just click that link right there. And I'm not like I'm not an investor or anything like that. I'm just like thinking about what to do in the future. Things suck for artists right now, and a lot of the negative stuff of the hyper commodification and capitalist exploitation, blah blah blah, is like stuff that's already happening. And I think in many ways, like with Web three, is just actually making that more visible and transparent, and I think it's at least we're talking explicitly about these things. I think it's really an re exciting innovation to have some certain agency in the distribution of what you make. 
It's not just restricted to stupid JPEG art. These are business agreements, these are films, these are all sorts of things that could guarantee lasting sustainable income to people who have traditionally been cut out of these systems. Innovation and technology is always coming. It's very easy to sit back and critique stuff. It's very necessary to critique stuff, but there's this whole culture industry around critiquing without engaging, and I think that by not engaging and sitting back and critiquing all the worst actors, you're actually punting all the developments to the very worst possible actors. There's a lot that is wrong, but like, this isn't working, and so uh, I think that it's, would, it's cool to find other ways that might work. Oh, that's how I do it, cool. The process is the product. Your lens or your body going through these experiences is changed by that experience. That's when I'm interested in something, is when I see a very particular approach that can have an interesting synergy with the thing that it's telling the story about. We probably wouldn't be having this conversation if I made like straightforward films with like interview subjects and things that were sound at the end, but also I wouldn't be like planing a spindle <laughs> by hand if like I was making those kinds of things, I don't know. Every film is a miracle, and if you get it made, good for you, I'm not gonna like shit talk. Lonius Monk has this quote where it's like, a genius is just someone who's excellent at being themselves. <laughs> but like, if you make it and you're among that like top trajectory that gets to premiere film and I was lucky enough to like have two films out that you then have to freeze that and then keep on doing that. And for me, I don't want to do the same thing ever again. And I think whatever is next is going to be something so different and it might not even be a film. Big moment. I mean, it just must have had a, must have had a crack in it. I don't even know if I have enough wood. I could do oak, but that doesn't have the nice dark color. It's just a bummer because like literally all this stuff just doesn't, it's just not long enough. I almost just want to go bowling now. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but we're going to use it. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. This, this will look a lot nicer in the end, because it's actually walnut, and that maple did not, didn't really like the way that looked anyways. Fuck that maple. <laughs> Might be a late night. When you're finishing a film, 
you just have to be really sensitive to a certain equilibrium within yourself of like, you know, is this where I want it to be? There's a point of diminishing returns that's like, you know, not always obvious, but there's a, a point where like the more energy you put into something is just like, you're just not getting anywhere near that amount out of it. And like where the more you zoom into that detail, you know, you're not qualitatively changing the piece in any way. Sometimes that's like you're on the verge of a breakthrough, which is like the really obsessive, maniacal pursuit of it. But I think um, it's never gonna be what you thought it was gonna be. It's like inherently like you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to give on it. Tomorrow we figure out how to drill these angles. I don't know if I even have room for a stool. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you.